because maybe I had took some cheap freaks, some Amazon freak. Let me know what you guys think. What you mean? Hey, I like hunting nothing in between. Bad little baby, think I met her overseas. Hey, she wanna go out shopping every week. Finna go, she proud and now she rockin' double C's. Hey, the way the back came in is like a dream. Love wants to hold that for you. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with me, QB. You like to see me, I'm got a little late start to this video. Because I was running a little late, but not too crazy late. But, just got to the um, Amazon facility, MGE, MGE, um, well, I'm the package right now. Tonight is going to be a good night, I'm not going to lie. Because maybe I had took some cheap freaks, some Amazon freaks. Let me know what you guys think. Um, nah, I'm just playing. Um, but basically, this I think this paid like $3.20. The only reason why I really took this load is because it drops off right in my city. Like, literally, I could drop off and go like two miles down the road and I'm back home. That's why I really took it. It's not cheap, but it's decent. And it had four stops. It had four stops. Mind you, I never go over two stops, but... I had four, so I'm like, it drops up by my house. I was gonna do it anyway, but I get here and it's looking like it's only two stops because I don't see my Alpharetta stop and I don't see my Lawrence Rail stop on, on a pallet. So it's looking like two stops. You can see, this is what we're working with right here. I think it's eight pallets. There's some singles over there, but not too crazy. And I'm gonna try in on that gym. I see those numbers right there at the bottom, 4201. That's how you find those numbers is how you find um how you find pallets. So you get your route number from the screen and then you look up there for the route number and then there, that's how you find your load quick. So you in and out right here and you're not walking around. It took me a minute to figure it out, but since I found it, life been so much easier. But let's put these pallets on the truck. Loaded up, so we probably only got two stops, like I said earlier. So this three dollars and what forty cent um, per rate per mile probably turned into over forty dollars. Forty, why you saying forty? Turned into over four dollars a mile that easy from just having two stops. So we're gonna go check out. Hopefully, they let us go with no problems, and I get back to out with the official rate per rate per mile when I get back in the truck. All right, so update. Um, I did the math. The rate per mile now is six dollars and six cent. You know I'm happy. <laughs> you know I'm happy, man. I'm happy right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm super happy, and it's crazy. The two stops that that got canceled it was like kind of going up north, and then it kept the stop by the city I live in for the last stop. So I'm I'm so grateful for that. But yeah, I think the original rate per mile was like three dollars and, and four cent. So, when I mean cheap, cheap lows, I mean the rate is not bad. Three dollars and four cents is not bad, but like when I said it's cheap, it's, it's peak season. So realistically, you should the lowest you should be running right now is three dollars and, and fifty cent, and even that's low, right? You always want to try to keep it above four dollars right now during peak season because Amazon will pay. Trust me, they will pay that. So lowest I'll say is three dollars fifty cent during peak season. Um, four dollars and up is best that's what i usually stop at i mean stop is four dollars four dollars and up that's all i really like to do right now so keep that in mind um and for you guys that go out over 200 miles and stuff like that um you should be getting paid like a thousand dollars or more for going Good. you should be getting paid like a thousand dollars minimum for going out there because you guys realize you go 200 miles out 
and 200 miles coming back deadhead so that eats a lot of gas so make sure y'all getting paid well for that but yeah um right now um we gotta wait i'm not gonna lie we gotta wait um because my departure time for the warehouse was 12 50 but i can't drop off to four o'clock so we gotta find something to do for a couple hours i don't know how this is gonna go but that's why i like booking loads that's like three in the morning until whenever because you could drop off quick but now i gotta wait find something to do might go get some diesel and sit somewhere i sure i might stay right here until <laughs> time to go oh no um i'll just update y'all in a little while So that was the first stop like i said earlier we had like a two three hour wait until this post office opened and if you're wondering what i did i found me a gas station all right found me a gas station and i ain't gonna lie to y'all i went to sleep found me a nice little spot of the gas station parked right behind a tow truck he was sleeping there i was like hey i'm gonna sleep too but at the first stop let's get to the second and last one let's go second and final load i feel like the video is gonna be a little short so um next load i get i'm gonna put that in this video too brian don't stop so see y'all in the next load all right part two of the video as y'all can see we back at the airport back at the airport like i said before in my other video i love coming here so slick and organized like you can't beat it and i'm like 15 minutes early they already gave me a dog door so can't beat it not bad at all so let's get loaded so are we looking full truck load all right see so we we loaded about to go drop off and I got something sad to tell y'all. I think the Amazon loads, I think the Amazon loads are, um, are dead now. Not gonna lie to y'all boys and girls. Um, peak season is dead already, especially in Atlanta because everybody keep taking these trash rates. So 
it make no sense. All, right, all these loads you see is probably pre-recorded, most likely, and they posted to roads for the most part. After Black Friday and Cyber Monday, everything really went to trash. So it's really just post truck work that I'm showing y'all guys for Amazon really because I want to give y'all the content content for Amazon. But like, like I said, it's it's dirt out here. I'm not gonna lie to y'all boys. So it is what it is, like I said. But hope y'all enjoying nevertheless. Um let's get to this this um let's get to this drop off. And you wonder why you don't see no cinematic like highway shots no more. It's cause I broke my um foam out in the truck, so I gotta buy another one to get the highway um, rolling shots, but it don't matter. Let's go. Alright, so that's my first time being here. I'm at D E T six. I can see I'm parked over there. I don't know what I'm doing. This ain't no regular Amazon where you go in through like a security gate and check in and get a dock door. It's like this is the foot on where the vans go out to get to deliver the packages. So I don't know where I'm going to be honest with you guys. But I just seen him run out from there. So I'm gonna go that way. So let's hope that's the way we go.